number one. Why are you called that? Why are you called that? <laughs> She's done. Yes. Number one. Why are you called that? Am I going first? Sure. Um, I am called Caitlin because that's what my parents named me when I was born. And that's pretty much it. Some people call me Cat, and not very many though. Looks like a fish eating my face probably. Um, and then um, I'm also called Katie, but usually only when there's two Caitlins because then people try to differentiate and they shorten one of our names, which is weird. I think the only other thing I'm called is Paradox just because my dad recently. But I think he's forgotten that he decided to call me Paradox. <gasps> Excellent. And so <laughs> <laughs> the Hoopian rant can be forgotten. It's done. It's done. <laughs> um... Well, I, invisible armrest, I am (laughs) called Sarah, um, because my great-great-grandma or something, her name was Bertha Sarah Ann Christman, and my name is Sarah Ann, so my mom wanted me to have someone in the family's name. No! Um, Percy Phantom Life. So that was the one. Um, I almost got named Jessica, because my dad's name is Jesse, so they thought, oh, Jesse, Jessica. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, I'm not. Um, yeah. I'm not really called much else. So. Number two! Tell us about your favorite school teacher. My favorite teacher... Hmm is probably Watabe Sensei from uh, at BYU, my favorite Japanese teacher. He was kind of like my Japanese grandpa because like I started out in like 102 with him and then I had like classes throughout the years with him so he kind of got to see me like progress through, uh, you know, nice. Japanese classes throughout my, my experience at BYU <laughs> and he called me Sarachan and was always just happy to see me and, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So and I got to spend some time with him in Japan as well for... Um, internship, study abroad type stuff. So yeah, he's a he's a good guy. Fun. I liked him. I think my favorite teacher was my first grade teacher. Her name was Miss Carson, <clears throat> and I had her. I had her in first grade, and then when I went to third grade, they like changed up teachers sort of like I don't know what it was but she ended up moving to third grade so I had her for first grade and then I had her again for third grade and it was like best ever awesome so she was really nice and then I had a French teacher who was really cool too when I was in high school and not because she was really nice necessarily mostly Mm -hmm. because well she was nice to me she was really strict and most people hated her and having her as a French teacher but I remember way more French than most people do once they leave high school and she's kind of snarky and hilarious. I can't remember what the next question was. It might be about food. You started just thinking of Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Then first gig. Okay. Strangest food I've ever eaten. Number three. Crap. I can't remember how they said it. The strangest it. food. What's the strangest food? What's the strangest, strangest food, food you've ever eaten? <laughs> Where are you from? I don't know. (laughs) I'm from everywhere. All at once? Yes. That must be painful. (laughs) Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't really eat exotic foods. Like, if anything sounds weird, I probably will not put it in my mouth. Dude, I eat all the weird (laughs) foods. Um, I've had octopus, I've had squid, I've had alligator, I've had pate. (laughs) I've had that tonight. Um, lots of raw stuff and... I think the weirdest thing I've had, though, is whale. Um, I didn't know you could eat whale. Yeah, like, not legally. many people <laughs> eat whale, because I don't know if, yeah, in Japan they have it occasionally, but people get mad at them for eating it. I don't know if, I was I like, I know. feel like don't, e- eating don't, whales. Don't hate me for eating whales, because I, I just had it once. And I'm judging you. It, it wasn't even that good. I'm not going to have whale again, because <laughs> whale's not that great. Don't don't eat whales. It's it's not good. Um, it's, just not, it's just not worth it. I know. Well, I mean, I've had, like, calamari and calamari. octopus. It's, like, not that crazy. Like, yeah, it's really not that you crazy. You can get it at, like, kind of normal restaurants in America. So. That's true. Oh, I tripe don't... is. Tripe is good if you had tripe. No. Yeah, my mom tripe. told me <laughs> this, like, horror story that when she 
she went to Europe and did she have tripe? Yeah, when she was like younger, but she didn't know it was tripe <laughs> until after she'd like started eating it. That's not a big deal. She already ate it then. But she said it was not appetizing at all. Oh yeah, well, it's, it's pretty weird. But and she said it I had like, like it. spaghetti sauce on it or something, oh. like red sauce. Well, that's on weird. It. And I think it was from a, like a can. It was like tinned. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> that's like, weird. She was like, it was awful. <laughs> I've just had it in pho, like Vietnamese soup, and it's mm. delicious. I don't know. I could eat anything if it was in pho broth. <laughs> Put a tire in pho broth, and I'm like all over that. <laughs> it's like, like tofu. I hate tofu. <laughs> oh, I love tofu. But I can eat tofu if it's in Thai soup. Mm. Thai food. Thai food. Thai food sounds so good right now. Yeah. I don't know. Number four. <laughs> are, you, no, are we on? Yeah, we're know. on number four. Or is this number five? Unless you have more weird things that you've eaten. Number four. Um, probably, but I can't think of any more either. I don't know. I really, I just, I don't eat weird food. I, I eat weird combinations of food, but not weird mm. food. Okay. I don't know. Number four? Yes. Number four! What's the first gig you've been to? You ever went to? What's the first concert you ever went to? <laughs> what was your first gig? What was your first concert, dudes? No, I'm American. <laughs> um... My very first concert was when I was 11 years old, and my brother took me to see Weird Al Yankovic, so it was actually, like, a really epic first concert. That's what I was thinking. Um, and he didn't get, like, like, there were seats, like, in the venue, but he got floor tickets, so I'm, like, this little short girl with, like, all of these grown-ups, like, down on the floor, and I can't see for anything. I imagine you were a very small 11-year-old. Um, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably, and then, um, so I couldn't see for, like, half the concert, but I'm just, like, rocking out, like, singing along. I knew all the words, and these kids by me are just like, who is this thing? Why does she know all the words? Um, but I did, and then my brother put me on his shoulders for the last song, which, um, was The Song Begins, um, and the bass player totally looked at me and smiled. Nice. It was, it was, yeah, it was a, a really good experience, actually. Really good. It was a good, it was a good time. My first concert, I can't remember how old it was when I went, but it was me, I want to say it was my older sister and my younger sister and my cousin, that's my little sister's age, and my mom, mm-hmm. and we went and saw Hilary Duff, <laughs> and I mean, I was probably like <laughs> nine years old, maybe ten, I don't know. I was pretty young, and I was kind of into Hilary Duff, because it was like the Lizzie McGuire days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was like, awesome. Lizzie McGuire. Number five. I don't remember what five was. Give me a moment. All right. Um. What's your favorite place in the world? Number five. What's your favorite place in the whole world? What's your favorite place in the world? You have to go first. Why do I have to go first? Because I went first last time. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're really like I didn't move forward it could have been an accidental lick of your face um favorite place in the world this is like a hard question well you have to answer it I haven't been enough places to pick a favorite place what if I like all places equally no that's a lie I don't like Kansas sorry Kansas I've driven through you multiple times and there's nothing there Kansas and the, is kind of boring the only thing nice about Kansas is if you go if you drive through it at night because there's nothing there and you can see all the stars and that's really pretty <laughs> But then after, like, ten minutes of that, you don't care about stars anymore. You just kind of want to die. I submit that Nebraska is just as bad. I hear Wyoming's also just as bad. Yeah, yeah. Wyoming, Nebraska. Well, especially, like, going east on 80, you hit Wyoming, and then you hit Nebraska. So you have two states of nothing. Mm. At least after Kansas, you've got Colorado. Well, except for the first hour and a half of Colorado, it's exactly the same as Kansas. But then you you hit Denver. (laughs) Yeah. And you're fine. Anyway, (laughs) favorite place in the world. We're getting off track. I mean, you're getting off track. Where to place the blame? Um, <laughs> probably. Dang, Gina. Um, I don't know. I lived. In... Yes. Hooray! I lived in Colorado for like a year, and I really liked it there. And I don't know. I'm very picky about places usually, because they have to have fun things to do, nice people, and good weather. And mm-hmm. good weather for me is, like, between the temperatures of, like, 65 and 78. Okay. Yeah. If there's a place that was like that all the time, let me know. My favorite place... I don't know. I really like Tokyo. I mean, I've been there. I spent a summer in Tokyo. Tokyo would be um, so fun. It's pretty awesome. You know, public transportation, lots of things to do, lots of 
fun things and cool things and they yummy things. There when you're there. And, yeah, I've ridden on bullet trains. Nice. Yeah, they're sweet. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really like Tokyo. Uh, weather's not the greatest in Tokyo. Like the summer is super hot, but um, yeah, anything yeah. above like eighty degrees and I melt. Yeah, I'll say I liked Tokyo a lot. Yeah, I think that's a win. Yeah. Tokyo. All right. Number six, who would you like to do the survey next? Um, Anyone who watches this, you can do it too. Indeed. I don't know. I wanted to tag, like, Charlie is so cool-like, but then I saw that he posted his answer today. I don't know. I like Janet on Fire and Amazing Phil. Neither one of them have done it, but I doubt they'll see it either. Yeah. If you did do it, if you did see it and then decided to do it, that would be awesome. We could tag our friend Brittany. We could check Brittany. Brittany, if you watch this, you should do the survey because it's brother. cool. And your brother. Yes. He's little. Um, <gasps> I think we're done with the survey. I think that's it. Should we check? That's it. I think we're done. I think that's it for the survey, guys. I think that's it. Whoa, dark time. <laughs> yeah, we should the computer on. It's like black hole of darkness. Yeah, we did them all, huh? We did them all. We did them all. Woohoo! Um, Sleep. Anyway, good night. <laughs> Bah. <laughs> that should sufficiently terrify everyone. <laughs> <laughs>